we need to put as many people as we possibly can into our mouths today. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, stick around, I'm going to be doing it for the next 8 hours. I pick up a man, put him in my mouth. My current mouth size allows me to fit 6 people in there. Then we trade their souls in and we can spend their souls for upgrades. We have 56 meats to spend, so we're going to get even bigger cargo capacity. So now I can fit even more of them in my mouth and apparently that gate opened. But since I have some leftover money, I'm also going to increase catching speed so we can put them in our mouths faster. And the guys with the red shirts are worth more, but they take longer to catch. But you know what? I've got time if you do. I could spend my whole day doing this. I found some sort of glowing man who seems to be dripping money. I'm going to go ahead and try and put him in my mouth. Long story short, we managed to get him. The basic upgrades are still pretty cheap. They get pretty expensive. It's 6,000 for one basic upgrade. So let's increase our catching speed two times, three times even. Now for these guys, they're going very quickly. That's way less than a second. Even the red shirt guys, very quick. And I think I managed to catch the money man again. If I saw that right, he was worth 28 meats all by himself. Yes, we're judging the value of people by their meat. And after selling this cargo full of people, we have over $200, which means I get another tentacle. The more tentacles, the better. This means I can put two people in my mouth at the same time. So basically our income has doubled. But I should probably find out what was beyond this door. The people here are a lot tougher. They're 50 meat each though. So as long as they basically stay holding hands, I'll put them both in my mouth at the same time and everyone's a winner. Maybe not so much them. They probably just died a horrible death. What are you guys worth? Your meat is worth 12. There's also a farm over here I can start to level up. It's apparently going to give me some money over time. I do enjoy when things allow me to be lazy. That gave us 150. One thing we definitely need is more movement speed. Our tentacle monster is actually a lot faster now. I have a quest I probably should have done earlier. I need to grab three people to scare the rest. If they're not scared already, they're never going to be. But let's see if I can manage to catch three. Done. Good news, I finished your abductions. We're definitely going to increase cargo capacity all we can right now. And we need to find key cards. You'll never guess how we do it. We put these guys in our mouth. You know what? I bet this is the second best tentacle video you've seen today. I do have to say I like this increased movement speed. We're just going to spend all day making super tentacles. So every trip we make about $50, which generally gets us an upgrade. We're going to increase our cargo capacity again. Simply because the less times I walk back and forth, the happier I will be. And apparently I finished my keycard quest. Not even sure entirely how I did that. We haven't upgraded our catching speed in a while, so that's now two levels higher. We have a main quest, we need to catch colorful octopuses. The orange people are worth 7 meat each. Uh, there's a weird looking guy down here who's worth 23 meat and a blue rock, so we're definitely going to go for him as well. Actually, this guy's 23 meat. The people down here are maybe the most valuable of all, so these who I should be focusing on. We have 111 meat on board, and that's prime grade meat. They're also super slow to catch, so I'm upgrading catching speed two more times. <laughs> it's just a party in my mouth and everyone is invited. Every load of these red guys is worth about 150 meat. And I should probably check on my farm and get 40 meat from this. So it's probably worth the investment right now to spend a little bit. It's going to make more and it's going to have a bigger capacity. Once it's full, we have 140 meat. Now that I say that out loud though, it doesn't seem that impressive, does it? We'll take more cargo capacity and more catching speed. So now we can put six of these beautiful morons inside of us before it's a problem. And I just realized our little super friend is back, so I'm actually going to go for him because those blue rocks have got to do something eventually. Upgrades are going up by two points at a time now, so catching speed is going to go up a few times. Uh, the next level suspiciously doesn't go up as much. I walked up to the end, and there's guys that are worth 94 meat each. So those are definitely the kind of guys you want to put in your mouth. They just take up a lot of cargo space, but they're probably worth a lot of experience. I've quickly saved up $420, that's all going into catching speed. It makes a difference, but not nearly as big as you'd think. But every little bit is going to make a big difference over the next four hours. And I'm going to keep upgrading my meat farm because it's just easy money. If I click on this, I get an extra 10 per minute. So that pays for itself within 8 minutes. But look how quickly we take down the original guys now. I've realized that eating the weaker people gets your experience much faster. We hit level 3, we've opened a gate. So now we can bring our tentacles to the rest of the world. I bet these guys are worth a lot. 74 meat each. And we got some new quests. These people are smarter though. They at least run away, which is good for them, but really annoying for me. And all for 10 experience, that's wildly slow. This is a bot shop, so we can have catchers and deliverers if I had more money. But I'm pretty sure I now have a helper catching things on my behalf, so I don't have to manually uh, tentacle things anymore. And I found where I can spend my eggs. Turbo tentacles. Stomach. Hull up. I'm not reading these, I'm just clicking on them because we can afford one of everything. And the new quest, upgrade the farm to 3 stars. 
There's even glowing people now. I could put glowing people in my mouth. He's worth 218 meats by himself. He's just gonna take four hours to consume. Well, that only took six years, but it got us an amazing 18 experience. While I've been away, the meat farm has gathered 300 meat. And the more we upgrade it, the more uh, it's gonna level up and just make us more money anyway. There's my little helper. He's going around here tentacling people all on his own. But the one thing I've learned so far, I need more catching speed. A lot more catching speed. We need to make it so we can take these guys down instantly, because then we'll be making money very quick. I did upgrade my car cargo capacities, who are up to 31, which quickly gave us another $400 to spend on movement speed. I can also take down the rocket men flying in the air. They flail around because they really don't want this. I can't say I blame them. These glowing guys are really hard to take down, but they're worth 500 meat, so I'm going to sit right on top of this one for a while. Even while we're doing that, I'm going to increase my catching speed just to take them down a touch quicker. I realized too that by making my circle bigger, I can be a little bit lazier. I don't need to stand as close to them to get them. And I got the blue man. I didn't see the experience, but look at the meat. I also have a quest to catch a satellite, so if it will hold still for half a second, I might actually be able to get this. It's quick, but I'm quicker. So catching radius is going to go up by quite a lot. That's a little better. Now I hardly have to move at all to catch these smaller clusters of morons. And it's fun to go back to where we started to see how quickly we can take down these guys. So these guys are worth 12 meats each and we can take them down really quick now too. So we're going to focus on them for a minute. And we finally saved up over $1,000 so that means we get a third tentacle. But now when we go into all these guys, we take down the whole cluster in an instant. Taking them down three at a time is actually a huge increase. $700 to spend, all on catching speed. Now it feels like I hardly have to wait at all to take out this entire cluster. I've also upgraded my little friend's uh, stomach capacity and attack power, so he'll be scooping up the morons quicker than ever as well. I just filled myself up with all the right stuff, 800 meat, so we have 1200 to spend. Straight into cargo capacity, all of it. The remaining's gonna go over catching speed. So now we can hold 62 capacity at a time, and these gold guys don't really move at all, they're 174 each. Plus, it wants me to eat another satellite that is apparently hard. I'm now putting hard things in my mouth. No, it went beyond the border, I can't get it over there. This last load of people, $2,200. Which means our catching radius is about to go up by quite a lot. <laughs> now no one can escape the tentacles. Since I saved up another $1,400, I've come back to my farm to collect a further $1,000. And we better increase the capacity on this thing because clearly it fills up. It's at max level so it can hold 3,000 meats. We've increased the income so now we can just mostly sit back and relax and let it do its thing. And I'm going to do the same sitting right here, devouring these people. So I've realized, if I sit right here, I will just continually catch these people, and I have a cargo delivery guy who's going to come and continually take 8 cargo from me. Well, that basically means that when the game inevitably crashes after several hours, I lose all of that progress anyway. But at least my farm is maxed out with 3,000 meats. And I guess the only thing to do now is upgrade it so it's max level so we get the quest reward. After two more farm levels, that is. So for now, it's just going to make us some money. So instead of that, we're going to spend $2,500 on catching speed to take us from 72 all the way up to 101. Also a little more movement speed. And then we can go figure out who it is we want to put in our mouths. These guys are going down very quick. And the Golden Horde has re-emerged, so we can just sit here and feast on these guys. This is super easy money. They don't even try to get away, they just wander around like sheep. And I do know a good sheep when I see one. Well, at least I make money back super quick. I guess I could sit here and probably farm these guys. They don't seem to wander super far. And while we're waiting, since we have $700 waiting, let's get some extra catch speed and movement speed. I finally about maxed out my backpack with the help of my little servant. That gave us $3,000. Which could actually get us a new catching tentacle. I've always wanted more catching tentacles. We're also going to increase our cargo capacity. Look at this guy. He's sparkling and glowing because he gives us five gems. But that extra catching capacity will actually be huge. We can get so many different people now. Like, we can just feast on these guys. We can take them a handful at a time and just stuff them in. And you really can just never have too much catching speed. That's just raw power. Because the quicker we can catch these little rascals, the quicker we're going to find bigger, better rascals to eat. And I might finally get my chance at another satellite because I have movement speed and power. I got it. I'm also pretty hopeful that I can mostly just sit here and be lazy and let these guys catch themselves because they can't walk outside of my perimeter. Well, that actually worked moderately well. And in my life, moderately well doesn't often happen. So we're going to get a slightly bigger catching radius and more catching speed. It is very satisfying to take down a whole horde of morons in an instant. And going to pick up my farm gave me enough for three more power upgrades. Make that two. I noticed realized how much experience I'm getting from catching those satellites to do the quest thing, so I might want to keep on chasing satellites for a minute. 
I can definitely outsmart them. They do tend to turn away from you, so you can actually kind of guide them where you need them to go. So, like, if this one's getting close to the bottom, we're going to steer it hopefully to the right without losing it. It's quicker than we are. I haven't really paid much attention to these guys, but they're actually going to be my new best friend. They don't go very far. They're worth 100 meat each, so I'm just going to sit right on top of them and farm them endlessly. It's so quick to save up a few thousand dollars now. I've got my catching speed up to almost 200. So for these basic idiots, it's pretty much instantly that we scoop them up and put them inside of us. Zoned out for a minute? Now we have $12,000. We're going to spend that all on catching speed. But that'll take us from 196 to 250. That is a 25% increase. So that's going to help catching absolutely everything. Even these guys that are basically impossible to catch, suddenly they're already down to 50%. And apparently we got enough experience and we started opening new doors. I'm excited to see whatever that one is. So, okay, these guys fight back. Got it. I can increase my HP. Not sure it's going to matter. We would have swarmed pretty hard, but that will at least give us a fighting chance. And the guys up over here, they don't fight back. They just sit here and slowly die, and I'm all for that. I like these guys because they don't go anywhere. They sit in a little circle. I can just farm these all day long. At least I thought I could. Something took some of my HP away a little bit at a time, so I don't know if they're attacking me, but oh, the guy in red is attacking me. So I just gotta stay up here a little bit where the guy in the red shirt can't really reach me, but we've almost got four of these things taken down. Well, now we know the red shirts attack me, so we'll mostly stay away from them for a minute. I'm also gonna spend $3,000 on uh, increasing the radius. That way I can just sit there and be lazy more so, and these guys will hopefully not get away. After murdering the blue glowy guys, I've also got some purple tickets on board. When I combine that with $6,000, I can have two tentacles touching one man at the same time. And let's face it, the only thing better than a tentacle touching a man is two tentacles touching that man. But now when I single out a target, we're doing double damage to him, provided I have a free tentacle. That actually makes a pretty big difference, so we're going to increase our cargo capacity. We want maximum idiots on board. After breaking another satellite, we have a target detected. We have a scuba man out of water. I think I'm supposed to defeat him. He is hard, apparently. We're fighting a hard thing. He's able to hit me. We're able to hit him back. Uh, we might be able to take this down if we're careful. We just got to run away from him like this. Scuba man can't catch me, but we didn't hit him with two tentacles at the same time. So as long as we're careful, I think we'll get him. We'll run in circles together. Not sure what the point of defeating him is going to be, but hopefully something valuable. He hits me for four damage, so we're going to win this one. And for doing that, I get ten of those. I just realized how expensive upgrades are getting. They're thousands of dollars each. We're going to get some extra HP and movement speed. I'm going to wander back in here to the danger zone. If I stay up here, I think the red guys will more so leave me alone. I did also find some meat puppets that are worth almost $1,000 each, $900 every time I eat one of these morons. And the best part is they're not in a hurry to go anywhere. I think I can stand here and farm them. It really doesn't take long at this rate to save up $8,000 in the bank and $6,000 on us. Combine all that money with four purple DNA things and we're going to get an extra tentacle. And it looks like we're going to need the DNA things to do pretty much most of the upgrades moving forward. So for now, we'll take cargo capacity and catching radius. I'm going to spend my remaining $13,000 on more HP. These red guys over here that keep attacking me are clearly guarding someone. So I'm going to see if I can actually get in here and kill all these guys and see what they're guarding. So far, I've mostly just succeeded in losing a lot of my health. But as long as I'm moving slightly faster than them, I can just kite them in circles and eat them alive. They are starting to respawn very slowly though, so I'm going to have to uh, very efficiently take out these last few. Uh, I managed to get to the quest if someone respawned. I think I'm actually dying right now, but there's a bulletin board or something up here. I just pulled the grate off of a vent. I'm not sure what significance that has whatsoever. Okay, there's ventilation opened, one of five. So I've opened one of the five vents, presumably somewhere out there in the world. Okay, they're just randomly scattered around, so they should be easy enough to find. Uh, apparently I had a baby and it's now <laughs> making its way out into the world, apparently to this guy. So that's two of eight octopuses complete. So the only thing left to do is sit here and farm these idiots for the next 40 years and come back and be way overpowered.